But it is this, it is the humble procedure of an injection being given every single day. In fact, millions being given every single hour around the world that causes this problem and these terrible results. This situation here of an unqualified younger boy, a quack, delivering to this older man in full trust this particular procedure is the one that really caught my attention. In India at the moment, 62% of all injections are unsafe. These three children that I met in an orphanage in the north of Delhi were all HIV positive. They'd all been infected by a syringe. And even sadder, they were all orphans because their family couldn't handle the diagnosis that they had HIV children and in their embarrassment put them out on the street. Two of these children are no longer with us. In Africa, there's a high reporting of fever after an injection, which comes from the pathogens on the needle and in the syringe. And it's estimated that tens of millions of injections are given, which already have blood on the needle, which is infected with the HIV virus. Similar story, Pakistan, 70% of the injections are insafe, unsafe, but a terrible element in that 90% of these injections are seen as unnecessary. It's perhaps the success of white man's medicine, if you'll excuse the phrase, which has told the developing world that we can cure their ills. And to my observations, they're turning away from traditional um, resources and wholly reliant on this procedure of injections. And I'm sure that our Indian friends will agree with me that a doctor is no good if he's not giving an injection. Oral medicine is not acceptable. And recently, a number which may be controversial is that the, this problem of unsafe injections results in a cost, a total cost around the world every year of somewhere over $100 billion. A fraction of that is healthcare, and two-thirds of that is lost production.